I'm going to show you an easy way to stop your kick and your bass from frequency clashing together and this will literally take you 20 seconds and then I'm going to show you a more dynamic way so bear with me as I go through this it won't take too long and you'll be astounded by the results so in order to demonstrate this I've put together a kick loop and a bass line which play at exactly the same time so take a listen to this So you know there's going to be some frequency clashing at that point. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the kick sample. We're going to take an instance of EQ8. Now we're going to listen to the kick sample just by itself. And we're going to look for that peak there. You see that peak there? Let's just move one of the EQ notches to that peak and then increase the gain like that. And just reduce the Q a bit like that. So it's got exactly the same shape as that peak. What we're going to do now is we're going to copy that across into the bass track like that. And then we're going to paste the exact same EQ8 that we had set before. As you can see, it's the same shape. We're going to go back into the kick track and deselect the EQ8 because we don't need that anymore. We're just affecting the bass track. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to take that gain and go all the way down. So it's going to dark that frequency on the bass line. So let's just take a listen. So we just solo the bass, sounds like that. And now if we get rid of the EQ8, there is definitely a difference in sound. But you put it together and it sounds crystal clear. Now another way of doing the same thing, but in a more dynamic way, is using a modulator called Envelope Follower. So we're gonna take Envelope Follower and we're gonna drag that into the kick track just like that. So what happens with the Envelope Follower just copies the shape of the envelope for the kick. So you can see that's the kick shape there. So what we're gonna do now is take that same EQ8, we've still got that same notch where there is a frequency clash, and then we're gonna go into the Envelope Follower like that and click Map and remote and then we're going to click on gain remember we've got that notch selected there it's going all the way down to 100 percent, and that's because of these settings here in the eq follower so we can bring it down say to 70 percent like that so now as you can see it is ducking but if you take a close look it's actually ducking the wrong way it's actually going up and increasing the frequency on the bass line rather than ducking the bass line. So what do we do? Well, we're gonna go back into the envelope follower. We're just going to invert the start and end position values. So from zero to 100 and from 100 to zero. And this is what we're gonna get. It's still not quite right. So it does dark, but it starts from a higher position. So we don't want that. We want it starting in its natural position, then dark. So the way to do that is to invert the scale so it is negative. So let's just bring it down to minus 100 here. We can do maybe 80%, that will be fine. So now let's have a listen. Now that is definitely ducking when it needs to duck. So what that does is it brings that clarity between the bass and the kick, but not just that, it actually gives you a bit of headroom. So it's actually better for your overall master. So give it a shot. You'll probably really notice a massive difference doing this.